Hi everybody, it's Wanda. I just did the waterfall pour and I went to look for a small canvas and I'm out of 10 by 10, so this is a 12 by 12. The last one, the waterfall pour was a 12 by 16. And I have a, that paint that's left in that cup. So I think what I'm gonna do is put down a puddle of white and I brought some Chroma Dorado Gold over here to add to it. Maybe just a little bit thicker. It seems pretty thin. Not sure it's thin enough. Um, it's running off of there pretty good. So we'll see how it goes. But I do want to put some more of the yellow ochre down in there. That blue was wonderful. I'm going to add some more of the titanium. Um have enough green. I may put this magenta, the golden magenta, down in there. Just a little bit, maybe. Not a whole lot. Um, now I'm going to try this gold. See how it... It might work. might be thin enough. I want it to fall down in there. So this is a total experiment. <laughs> this is Artist Loft with Floetrol 1 to 2. And we will see how this goes. Uh-oh, it's wanting to run over the top of it, I think. I'm going to put down a little bit more. Better too much than not enough. I think all of my magenta went right in that little corner right there. May leave these corners negative space. But this paint's pretty thick on here still. I'm not loving that green streak right there. I see a blob. Right in here. I think I 
that's zinc. That's zinc I'm putting in now. Kind of blend it in there. And that's okay. I like this. I think this is pretty. Even though it looks stretchy in the middle. Not really in the middle, right down in here. The yellow ochre is showing up a little more. That um, magenta went in down over here and over there and some over in there. It's really pretty. Um, I hope I don't get too many white spots popping up. I don't want that. And I think I see another blobby place right there. Something was in there. Didn't look good. Looks like it's sticking up. So, I like this. I do like this, and it's different than I usually do, so that's good. All right, I'm, I'm officially okay with this, so um, I'm going to take the camera down and give you all a close-up. I, I really like these colors, and they are really vibrant, so I hope they dry okay and they don't dry too dark since I added some white to it. Hopefully, it'll dry pretty. So hang on a second. Okay, this is how it looks from my perspective. It looks kind of ocean-y. I do like this. I think this is so pretty. These colors are wonderful. So, I'll be using some more of the golden in the future. I caught some on sale half price this morning. And I thought the cost was about right for the size. So, I ordered some bottles. Not very many, but a few. So, it may be the same color themes over and over. <laughs> we'll see. But, that's how it turned out. There's that magenta that blended in right up there. You can get a little peek of it. And there's some right in here too, if I can get the camera tilted the right way and you can see it. And then there's some in this corner right here. Right in there. It almost looks like a dark, dark blue, but that's actually very purpley looking. So that's what I ended up with. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome to my new subscribers. I invite you to come back, watch me again, spend a little time with me. Thank you.